Hi guys, Gunship here, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. I'm really sorry about the rambly uh, last episode, um, but I had a lot to get through, and I still was trying to work out in my head as well what I wanted to do uh, with the series. Uh, but we're back on track now, and uh, you know we're currently making our way to Solitude. Uh, we've just been to see um, the new plot of land that I bought, um, and as luck would have it, we've got a dragon, so it looks like we might be getting into a dragon fight, which is always a good start to an episode. Um, so yeah, let's see if he actually commits. Because right now he's just kind of flying around in big, I'm a big dragon, fear me kind of way. Um, the only bad thing is, I don't want to get too close to Solitude, because I don't want him to then end up eating someone that I need. <laughs> so... Is he gone? Really? really just don't understand legendary dragons. <laughs> they, just, they just fly off when they want. Um, so yeah, let's check the map because I do have a marker for some reason. Um, sure why. So look. Buy lumber for building your house. Really? Is it sending me to do that? Half moon mill. Really? Gotta go that far for some wood? No way. <laughs> One second, I'm just going to check because I think there's actually a... Let's go here instead. Let's go to Solitude Sawmill, <laughs> which is a lot easier than going halfway across the map. Uh, fast travel... Yeah, why not? Alright, let's go buy some... Are you going to sell me some wood? Here for work? Help. Get an axe. Bring me all the wood you can chop. How about you? Are you going to sell me some wood? What do you want? Uh, lumber, please. How much? Good question. Um, oh yeah, it's true actually. You can actually just do it yourself if you want to save the penny. Nah, I don't think so. What? Mm. Yeah, I don't think so, really. Uh, look at this, Mr. Orc. Uh, looks like I'm cutting wood. <laughs> so, come on. Obviously this is one of the longer animations you have to go through, there's no kind of quick way of doing it, so that's why the pay option is quite a good one. The good thing is it means that if, for example, you arrive at one of these sawmills at night and no one's around, um, you can either wait till the daytime. Oh man, mud crab? It's one big mud crab actually. Oops, fail. The last of them. Yeah, thanks to me. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, we managed to kill a mud crab and the log is still being cut. Okay, and I think, I'm not sure if that actually shows up in your inventory or not. Not quite sure. Oh, look. How much does a log weigh? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be there, does it? Hey, that's another way of doing it. Uh, you can just use the, the mill for now though. Let's go just pay the orc just to get rid of that miscellaneous quest. Where's he gone? Uh, where's he mad at me? This is just typical. Here for work? Man. Sorry about this, guys. Looks like once more uh, things are not going how I planned. I'm just going to check if it pops up in the top left or right that, you know, this lumber is actually cut or not. Okay, so the mud crabs live on that island, fair enough. Hmm. 
Hmm. A message appeared, so I assume it. In this case, from this mill anyway, you can't cut your own. I mean, and the guy did say so, I guess. Um, another reason why I didn't go to the other one that the game was sending me to is, if you remember, they were actually um, vampires, and we kind of killed them for the Dark Brotherhood, so there'd be no one to sell us any wood anyway. Um, so for now, I can't be bothered. Uh, we'll come back at some other time and buy some wood to get rid of that, um, that whole message. Right, uh, let's get into Solitude, because that's why we're here. Um, get some trading done. Uh, do a numbers job as well, while we're at it. And then we can go there at Ustengrav. Carry him taxi. Come on. Got quite a lot of stamina now, which is nice. So, not running out of breath as much as I did at the beginning of this game. Shall I just check where is it we're supposed to do this numbers job? Uh, excellent, it's cleared off that whole buying wood. That's good. Um, numbers job, numbers job. My blind, there it is. Uh, bits and pieces. Okay, that's where we're going. Yeah, as you can see, it's party time. <laughs> They're preparing for a festival. Um, for the Bard College, there's a whole quest line now. It's quite interesting as well, but we'll do that at some point. For now, though, ooh, grab that nightshade. Let's see what we can see. Um, this guy's story. Take my advice. Never gamble. Damn, Ernskar has me in debt up to the eyes. Okay, so you're in debt to Ernskar. I mean, that's obvious. Too many drinking games, too many bets. Too little time. And I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. Okay, so what if I talk to him? He's a stubborn oaf. I don't know what good it'll do. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Obviously. Um, okay, so who's this? Yorn. It's an honor to have Viarmo for instruction on drum. But he's far too reserved for my tastes. Fair enough. And why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. But do you know who really makes history? Uh, me? The person who writes it. Exactly. Very nice talking to you. Very well. uh, what's your... As High Priest of the Eight Divines, I bid you welcome. And you're one dodgy looking priest. <laughs> Looks more like a musketeer gone wrong. But anyway, let's speak to him. I'm afraid I'm running errands at the moment, but please visit me later at the Temple of the Divines. Yeah, yeah, looks like you're <laughs> running errands. Right, let's get into this uh, the shop. Oh, that's the, that's the bar. I'm not bothered about that. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Okay. Oh, thank you. What? I think we've already asked See him this anyway. See a man fallen on hard times? And you think he's been like that forever? No, I didn't say that, dude. I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil. And when I was struck down... They left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. Sorry. Yeah, we did a mission for him it's to retrieve his uh, helmet, which is kind of cool. But for now, let's go in here. Let's see if we can't offload some Take of the crap. Look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Okay. So nice to have pleasant company for a change. Thank you. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. I will. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, these guys normally sell clothes, which is quite good if you want to craft things, uh, I guess. But, you know, other than that, not too great. She's got quite a lot of gold, though, which is good. Uh, so you can have something heavy. How about that? 300 gold left. Oh, I'm keeping two of those. You can have one. Expensive. Ah, I forgot I had that. Excellent. Uh, expensive. Those. Those. 49. Let's see if there's a potion we can get rid of, maybe. That one, for example. Yeah, 
that'd be. I, mean, I could Finally. sell some arrows just to get rid of it, but what the heck. Uh, it's first one down. And it's night time, so that's good. Dragons breathing fire in the sky. It's just whatever. And so that's the bar. It's the that's the first the trader. So there's another trader here, which is where we have to. That's be some pieces. Excellent. That's where we have to do the job. Another trader just here. So we'll go hit them up first. Oh man. Now we did a mission for her. Uh, it's quite an easy one actually. You just got to speak to the captain of the guard to find out what happened to her daughter. It's quite easy. So um, we can raid the place if you want. So, you know, it'd be rude not to. Gotta be careful though, because you don't really want to steal anything if you can help it. If it causes more problems than it's worth really. But it's not going to help me with the trading, is it? She's not here. So. No en route, yes please. So what do I do? Do I wait or do we just carry on? What the heck, we'll carry on. Oops, uh, let's go this way. Okay, let's get over to bits and pieces. Oh, these ones are in, that's excellent. What do you need, my friend? Uh, should we ask who Bayer end is? Whatever. Baron's my husband. Baron, okay. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. That's good, that means you have money. <laughs> Were you at Rugge's execution? No, that was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good a king. <laughs> All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's go for sale. Take a look. I will. Uh, not that I'm bothered actually what you have for sale. Uh, uh, just have a quick check. If it's a bump of her gold a little bit, I'll, go, I'll grab these because then I can use them to charge uh, my bow. Goat horns, that's another thing from Hearthfire, you can use that on your house as well for, uh, I think it's for using, uh, for like, lights and stuff. Um, and I'll take that as well, so you've got loads of money now, brilliant. Right, let's see if we can offload the rest of the stuff. Whoops. Uh, uh, let's see, Ebony Bow. I loved her so much, but goodbye. Uh, Ebony Mace of the Vampire. She ain't got enough money for that. That I'm keeping, because it's named. I'm keeping, I'm keeping. Can I have that there? And he does. Oh, now she's got hardly no money. How annoying. Right. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Maybe. Cool, how many daggers? Now, where does she Beeren keep? said you got here just before the ex. Must have been a lovely first sight. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a, a great opening to a city. Is see an empty execution. But anyway, well, where does she I keep? I thought adventurers were supposed to. Look see what? Kick your ass. Right, and looking for the ledger. It's probably going to be upstairs. Where I thought in the bedroom, because where they normally keep them. It's going to be quick because it looks like. Oops. She's up on the way up the stairs anyway. Okay, there's the ledger. It's done. Let's go. Wee. Okay. What are you doing that for? Cause I can. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Um, how are we doing for weight? Actually, oops. Four twenty-five is still on the heavy side. I don't know why. The heck, am I lugging around? Steel ingots, bear pelts. Really? Ooh, one thing we should do before I forget, because you know what I'm like. Uh, let's char let's charge our bow. Black soul gem in your dreams. Uh, that one. And a couple of petties. There we go. Good to go. Right. Okay. So. Um, 
what else have we carried around? Because I think it might be worth it, because then I can basically uh, get rid of all the weight. Uh, we'll get to Ustengrav, and then that'll be the start of the next episode, where we clear the dungeon. But what am I carrying around that's so damn heavy? I don't really want to have to go back to um, my, ta my home, uh, Honeyside and Riften. Um, but I might have to, because, I mean, that's pretty cool. No one's probably going to have any money to buy these things at the moment. Which is the annoying part. I mean, one thing about Skyrim, I really wish that when you leveled up, um, you know, the, the actual money of the traders <laughs> leveled up with you. Because I've got the um, the perks, all the perks I can think of anyway, to increase the amount of money that traders have. We go to speech. Um, you know, I'm getting better prices anyway. Uh, I can invest, and I've invested with pretty much every trader in Skyrim. Um, I can buy to sell the goods, but I, oh, there, right, okay, that might help. So I need to get that one at some point. Uh, that would be quite useful. Speech at 99 is not going to take too long. Um, yeah, it's just so annoying. Uh, you know, you, you, you start finding better loot in the dungeons, but the traders just don't have the coin for them. Uh, it's kind of annoying. But anyway, uh, is this blacksmith going to be at his, house, at his store so I can try and sell him something? Yeah, there he is close just yet <laughs> may the gods watch over your battles friend oh man return okay let's wait right uh can you buy stuff now seems there's no oh. end to the needs of the imperial <laughs> so annoying what can i help you could start by maybe buying something from me i got some fine armor this guy anyway okay okay where'd he go uh, there he is may the gods watch finally Looking to protect yourself or deal some wow he's damage. got quite a lot of gold as well that's quite good uh, he's gonna need it so let's see what else we've got let's just get rid of that shield magic shield thank you but no thanks can go as well. Go as well. Right, that's that. That's this episode pretty much done. Um, again, sorry it wasn't really too full of uh, action, but you know, sometimes these videos are like that, especially when you're playing Skyrim. You, you'll note yourselves, you know, there's quite a lot of uh, dungeon crawling, raiding, fun stuff, and then, you know, there's the not so exciting or glamorous part. Which is the selling. It's got to be done. There we are, guys. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, coming up on the next episode, uh, I promise after two kind of rambly, uh, not very exciting episodes, <laughs> we're going to get straight into the action and just massacre a load of people. Because uh, it's been ages since we've done that. I uh, hope you join me for that. For now, though, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care and peace. <laughs>